Hello, my name's David Powell. I'm a farmer from Herefordshire and uh, I suppose I've been farming for the last 45 years or so. Always had a great interest in trees. Alongside the farming, I got quite interested into growing bonsai trees. I found it very interesting at the time, but I also found it very frustrating. It'd, it'd take ages to get to grow something with a, a trunk perhaps this thick. And um, from that, I developed some ideas of making my own metal trees, which over the last uh, 18 months or so, I've started to do. The beauty of it is for me, uh, if I was growing a bonsai tree, uh, if you cut off a branch because it's not quite in the right position, you've got to either wait for that branch to grow again, or if it's an evergreen tree, it probably won't grow. Whereas one of my welded trees, I find it, uh, if I, the branch isn't in the right position, or I need a branch somewhere else, I can just weld another one on. Over here is, is the first one I made and um, as you, I've progressed over the last uh, 12 months or so I've added bits and pieces and, and refined and made things in different ways but that's my, that's my very first one and that was sort of, sort of got me hooked. As much as possible I try to use recycled and reclaim materials. I think that's very important in this day and age. At, at this stage, I've used mainly bits and pieces that I've, I've got here on the farm, and I make them by welding all the different bits and pieces together and uh, creating a bark effect on the trunk and the lower areas purely by welding. A lot of my other inspiration would come not just from bonsai, but we've travelled around in the Lake District and the pine trees, that are, you know, outstanding pine trees, and particularly like the one here that uh, you, you may well find in nature where the, the branches have been bent in certain directions by heavy snow and the, tw and the twigs and the trunk bec become twisted by the elements, wind and rain and what have you and it's um, taken me quite, a, quite uh, a little while to refine you know, different things and I'm learning all, all the time. I sort of moved on to not just the bonsai shape but more perhaps the oak tree shape that you would find in many fields uh, locally in Herefordshire, Wales. It's just trying to make the, them look as realistically as possible and miniature as possible. I hope you enjoy looking at them as much as I've enjoyed making them.